Uh, cases of sexual violence in children in the country continue to be on the rise. Uh, this is according to human rights activists. The lobby group under the Brave Movement have added that there is a need for the already established laws to be enforced so as to avoid more victims being abused. The human rights advocates have also called on parents to be more vigilant on online sexual abuse. Unfortunately, one of the things that we've seen in the COVID era is a dramatic rise in the incidence of online um, child abuse. So situations that are occurring offline are now additionally also being photographed or they're being live streamed. And this is increasing the suffering for victims because not only are they experiencing abuse, but then that the images from that abuse are being circulated or recirculated, which is increasing um, the trauma that they're experiencing and often re-traumatizing them day after day. We're calling on technology companies to do more to detect and remove child abuse images immediately. We know they have the technology um, to do this. We're calling on them to take action um, to ensure that they do that immediately. It's important for us to also acknowledge that them speaking to uh, somebody of the same gender is actually more important than exposing them to the other gender because of that uh, new nu nuisance of not being in the right frame of mind. So you might have the service providers are not enough or the service, provided, uh, uh, service providers who are there are not adequately equipped uh, towards uh, supporting the survivor. I think also on the aspect of the justice, that's where like in fact we have a bigger issue. And prevention is about making people aware of how widespread this problem is. Globally, one in four girls and one in nine boys is experiencing sexual violence in childhood or adolescence. Um, we need people to be aware of this. Understanding the scale of the problem is the first step. And then we need prevention. So we need measures to protect children and young people. We need policies and legal reform. And most importantly, we need implementation.